Council for uh, their hard work in presenting the information to us and what could prove to be a surprisingly difficult case uh, relating to such a short incident. Um, but uh, after uh, deliberations, the members of the Commission have found uh, unanimously, by preponderance of the evidence, that Detective Gomez has violated uh, the uh, Code of Conduct as charged. We have also found, uh, by preponderance of the evidence, that the first five just cause standards are satisfied. Um, therefore, it is appropriate for us now to move to phase two of the proceedings. And uh, as Mr. Reardon, are you prepared to proceed? Uh, yes, Mr. Reardon. Okay. Uh, Assistant Chief Flywell. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, raise your right hand. Sir, do you swear that the testimony you will give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you. Please be seated. Mr. Beard, please be seated. Thank you. Could you state your full name for the record, please? Uh, my name is Kurt Leibel, K-U-R-T-L-E-I-B-O-L-D. Your current occupation? I'm the Assistant Chief of Police, Milwaukee Police Department. Uh, Assistant Chief, could you, um, just for us, um, we're not that familiar with the run through your history. Uh, just real quick, I'm sorry. That's the put my glasses on. And, but uh, I would object to this testimony. Okay. It's completely going to be hearsay because this is not the chief. And only the chief makes the call on the level of this This is pure hearsay. Okay. Your, your objection is noted. Why, uh, Mr. Rick, why don't you uh, make it an established foundation for um, Assistant Chief's law, Assistant Chief Weibel's knowledge about the disciplinary process in this case? Sure. Um, Obviously, as the uh, acting uh, commander of internal affairs, 